All right, morning, welcome. This is it. The final season two race. After this, there are no more season two weeklies. We're moving on. And um, to uh, kind of join me on this final journey of season two here, I have the winner of the season two main tourney here. We have Connor75. Morning, welcome. Morning. Thanks for having me. And I think it was only fitting to select the person with the fastest S2 time for this race, Obio, as part of the restream here, versus the third place person in the S2 tournament, which was Camerson. So this should be a pretty hot race here, and um, we should be getting started pretty shortly here, but a pretty interesting start. Mini Monkey and Tiny Kong start means that we could be checking Perry Island pretty early. Yeah, I have a feeling a lot of people will want to just get Banana Fairy Island out of the way in the first five seconds, and I wouldn't blame them for that. It's good to have the information. Alternatively, we could see people like, you know what? I'm going to hold off on it for a bit, because I've certainly done that before, and it has screwed me over, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> And of course, you have grapes. That also means you have another uh, check you have access to right away, and that means the back of Kalumzi's island is also going to be sphere two, uh, sphere zero this time. Um, all the racers are ready here, so we should be starting momentarily. Um, looks like the race chat is giving a quick 07 send off to season two. So can you, we please, in Twitch chat as well as YouTube comments, join them? Type 07, please. It's really been a fun, what, like nine months <laughs> of these settings? Am I right there? Like, yeah, something like that. And I mean, I, it's, it hasn't really overstayed its welcome either, I don't think. Um, a lot of people have been playing, like, this is just like a constant grind for a lot of people. Um, but definitely it's a good idea to just move on at some point, and... Anyway, we're gonna be starting soon here, and... Go! All right, curious to see what people do here. Oh, Camerson's checking hints right away. Um, Obio is doing a normal, uh, I guess a normal opening here. We just go to Kalumzi. Um, if you haven't seen Camerson play before, he doesn't like reading the hint, the hint doors directly. He will read them on the pause menu later. That's why you're seeing this particular strat. We have a Chimpy Charge sighting immediately. Yeah, Chimpy Charge not something they'll be able to use anytime soon until they get Diddy. But we are seeing the great. Underground is Lanky K rule. Banana Fears wave the horde. Oh. <laughs> Second Ant Hills wave the horde. What is going on? All right, did you get the key to hint? I was a little bit slow. Uh, it was uh, fungi center and beanstalk to key two. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> <laughs> that okay? Key two on the bean is <laughs> that would be something. It's probably something a little more <laughs> straightforward than that, but. Now, I know this is a flower grenade seed, but it, are, they, they clear, they're clearly trying to make a plando here to put Bean in the final race. My goodness. And there it is. I'm, I'm almost glad Obio didn't like go rush the banana fairy before checking hints because now they could see that. Would have been a waste of time if they mini monkey didn't check the uh, banana fairy hint that way. But now this is going to be right. on the back of their minds here. But maybe you do check it to see what color the potion is. You see that it's blue or something. Assume it's a rank stand and you and you skip it. That's a good point. Um, Camerson is opting to skip um, training grounds, which I feel like has always been like a 50-50 thing. Obio is going to go back there. 
get some more hints here in just a second. So we got Mini Monkey is path to 5, 8, and K rule for Chunky, or Tiny, excuse me. Outskirts is path to 8, Chunky Lanky. Um, Forest Kasplat is Chunky. Laptop Room is Wath, and Forest Chunky Metal is Wath. Yeah, that shipyard outskirts to eight blanky chunky. That's interesting. Yeah, so we know here that we are going to be getting chunky pretty quickly. Right, because you don't have a single <laughs> uh, center and beanstalk area check without chunky. Yeah. So... This is almost certainly going to be minecart or chunky minecart for key two, unless they somehow get both feather and and uh, the uh, pineapple launcher really fast. Somehow, what if one is in the banana fairy island and we have? I don't know if we have five fairies available. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in these well... first two, probably not. I don't think there's five fairies yet. <laughs> well, if you get feather, that. If you get Feather and, um, what is it, Monkey Port, then that's Monkey four, port? right? I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. It, it's a stretch <laughs> is what we're trying to say. Yeah, we're overthinking this, but yeah, both of them going straight for uh, these Kasplats in Forest here. Because yeah, they, they know they're chunky. getting chunky. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Yeah, this sucks also... too because you know you have to climb here, but you don't have Chunky. Well, actually, Chunky's probably going to be on this Kasplat that Camerson's about to get to, to be honest. But we'll see. Right. <laughs> if Chunky well, ends up being on one of the higher Kasplats, that's going to suck because they just miss out on all these bananas. Yeah, there he is. Sweet. But yeah, yeah they know about the metal for Chunky being away of the horde. Yeah, this is like, even if this wasn't metal on Chunky, like, you have to climb this if you have this early. Like, they, it, skipping out on all these sphere zeros at the top is just, like, not a good idea. If you especially get level one forest. So, yeah, a little bit of a. Almost feels like a chore, but, like, you have to when you get forest early. Yeah, with no chunky gun, there's, there's, I, I, I would do this every time. When when you have chunky level one forest and no sign of getting rocket barrel in the near future, you sort of just have to climb the mushroom like this to get his metal. Got a nice doink there, so pretty little kiss, um, trough and scoff count, which is expected for level one. Um, I also expect to at least we're just gonna be checking some of the what the the yeah, ballerina check. We're also gonna be checking the kasplat up here. Yeah, um, Camerson Cam going in here for the probably the five bananas to get the metal in a nicer spot, since the chunky metal is tricky without these five in this scenario. He doesn't want to go back into the bottom of the mushroom. Because now it's just going to be five more warp two, and then five on the minecart to hit forty. Oh, forty-seven! Like even this early is just way too long to go for. <laughs> I feel like generally if it's 30 seconds or under and it's early, you maybe do it. I guess it really depends on how you feel like how many gold bananas level 2 is. Yeah, <laughs> I I probably wouldn't go above 30 at a time like this. But there's still only a one gold, or yeah, camera's only at one gold banana still. Obio is going to go out of logic to check the lanky rooms up here, which is... I mean, like, the dark room here with the mushroom bounce is a very quick run. Very quick one. Um, so, 
Definitely not something that's disagreeable here. Uh, ooh, this is nice. Getting a rainbow coin early is... <laughs> oh my oh, god. <laughs> the death. It's too bad you I... didn't check the other stuff at the top, because that would have been, like, a really optimal death to have. But now I think he might just go to the minecart. Yeah, like as long as you stuff. got warp 5, then you can always go back later. Arizon's gonna be able to get Chunky's medal here once he goes to the minecart. As you can see, Obiu didn't get a chance to do that. Uh oh. It is it is the boss key here, so. Yeah, I mean that that was very likely going to happen, so got a good uh seed to start here. Ooh, feather bow. Okay. That is gonna be on CB rewards for Chunky, and that's what the way of the horde was. That is one step closer to banana fairies potentially being required for early progression. Yeah, and, and something that's gonna be tough to remember is getting that lobby fairy. Um, I know I've, even though I've had feather, I've skipped on that many a time. <laughs> even very, in. At, What's that? Let's say even when, when fairies are in the pool, I see a gold banana there, and sometimes they're just skipping. It moves so much. Now, um, they have access to the Sphere Zero Fairy, and they have access to the Fungi Lobbis Lobby Fairy here, but they do not have five still. But it's something to keep in the back of your mind, especially when you know you have to do those fairies at some point. So what I always use in speedruns is if... The fairy sometimes will stay, like, stuck in the little room when you open that door for the Fungal House fairy, so, like, that's used- and, like, their hitbox is big enough where even if it's not technically on screen, the camera will still get it. But, um, if it makes it out of that room, good luck. <laughs> um, I used a pause buffer to try to make it easier for you to get the fairy. They're also cute. only- one move away from getting into the ant hill because we have that way of the horde as well and all i need is sacks because they started with grape and mini monkey and key two acquired on both player sides very nice All right, where are we going next? That's the big, that's the big question. Um, Obeo does need to get five more chunky bananas. Camerson does not need to worry about that. Because I don't believe really Obeo, Obeo went into the room. It. Yeah, he probably didn't go into the face puzzle room like Camerson did for that five, which is really what you needed to hit 40. Yeah, very good expert route in my Camerson. Trying to get really good at DK races, routing those bananas is something you really need to consider. Specifically the fungi forest banana metals. Yeah, you can lose so much time with poor routing of bananas. And like learning where all the bananas are is a good way to really improve your time quickly. What is in the lanky attic? There's no such thing as a crown casino. I don't know what these NSAC players keep talking about. Actually, I wonder, can you get Tiny's medal from here? I don't think you can. Mm. So you Just got the two, two. I think you got the two balloons. Then you got the five pack in the inside giant mushroom. That's twenty five. Then you got like what ten? Or not quite ten. I yeah, think there's yeah. only thirty five because you got eight around the stump and then two more through the tunnel. You have you have loads in the mill though, so. Mm, that's right. Oh, you have mini yeah. monkey. You do have access. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because of mini monkey, you have. You'll easily have 40, I think. Hey, well, maybe we'll get a surprise uh, 
surprise uh forest tiny metal come out randomly but um it looks like the, the, the problem box. yeah the problem with the forest tiny metal is that like you didn't enter the level with feather you didn't come into this level like already shooting the tiny balloons and you have to do a lot of backtracking and it's very out of your way to go get the 40 even there though there's a potion you have and to do this ooh. you have to <laughs> do you though it's <laughs> It's a clear vial, you have no training moves, you have to. And it's cut out. <laughs> Synced cut out, okay. Yeah, we got a high five going in the creepy <laughs> castle boss. And a good uh, point out in the chat, but uh, not w so well known logical hint for season two settings. There needs to be six fairies in logic, um, technically, in order to have access um, for the fairy check, even though you only need five. Alright, well, thank you. A lot of people in chat are just taking a nap right now. So why don't we use this time, chat, to post your favorite golden banana in the game? Favorite golden banana. What's your favorite golden banana in the game, Connor? And you can use any criteria you want. It can't it doesn't need to be it can be like your favorite stream value golden banana if you want. It can be your favorite one to get as a player. I like the chunky castle beaver father the most. Ch oh, that's a good one. Th th that one's a really fun one technically because, well, t um, logically you need DK's um, baboon blast to just open the tree. You need prime punch to open the door. You need pineapple launcher plus sniper to hit it logically. But if you stand under the switch, Oh my god, this is so safe. Um, yeah. <laughs> if, you stand, if you stand under the the uh, switch to get to Chunky's um, Beaver Bother and Castle, um, the switch doesn't hide itself, so you can technically shoot from under there without sniper scope. It's a pretty cool strat. Yeah, and I always feel like I'm failing the lanky Beaver Bother and Castle and not the Chunky one. Alright, let's see what this is. Was it worth the time? Yeah. Okay, now, diving. Yeah, that's... <laughs> now, there are seeds where diving is not technically required, but those are few and far between. So, that was probably the correct play. Yeah. Uh, as we were saying before, Obio is going to have to get Chunky's medal. Um, Alright, but I think he's going in this door to hit five more. This is interesting now because he can get that feather bolt check really quickly. <laughs> he might get Tiny's medal right away. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to do here. Or at least yeah. grab this balloon. Alien level three. Is that 17? Oh my god. That's <laughs> like not five. even close. <laughs> 17... Okay, who made the seed? <laughs> 17 level 3 is so much. Alright, All right, writing time. Storage is Pat the Chunky. Not Kieto, that's interesting. Null rewards is 8 like tiny. Factory shops foolish. Altries Kieto. Shipyard Outskirts is key four. That's double Wath for Shipyard Outskirts. Right. Also going to be seeing level four here. Yeah, it's like 17 is high, but you also like are looking at them and they only have, they each have four, uh, I guess it'll be a five golden bananas right now. There's not- oh, and only 18 for Japes. <laughs> That's not too bad of a climb, I guess. Let's see what we got here. Underground is eight and chunky. Castle metal rewards is key five. 
Ape Shafts is Diddy. Prof and Scoff is five and eight. Then Clovan's Factory. It's foolish. Now they got diving and trough and scoff, so that could be what it was referring to, but not necessarily. Right. I mean, hopefully it is, <laughs> or else we have another boss. Man, this is kind of crazy. We're between castle and forest. How are you getting 13 more golden bananas? Uh, and with Diddy being in Japes, they are not getting Diddy. Uh, do we know about DK? Nope. So. <laughs> All right, we have um, confirmation from Blam here. It is a 1.8% chance to have a 17 plus gold banana for level three in season two settings. Whoa. Yeah, so, so that's rare, but also like if it was a Japes factory start, sure, maybe getting 17 is is trivial if they're, they're just throwing gold bananas at you, but that has not been the case so far this seed. Yeah, like, I would almost consider, like, if you're strapped for golden bananas coming out of castle here, I would almost just go back to forest and do that, um, battle arena that was 40 seconds long at this point. Right. <laughs> Have we seen either of them go to Altry area yet? Oh, there's a key here. Um, I don't think either did. That's interesting, because they had... Uh, that's just Great from seven. the start. That's okay, key seven. <laughs> All right, well, free key seven, no Alta Tweet three. Well, we still have a uh, spicy trough and scoff path to five and eight, and that being really, from what I've written down, our only information about key five so far. Yeah, what I have here, Mini Monkey's path to key five, Castle Meta Rewards is path to key five, and Trough and Scoff is path to key five. Oh, That's all Okay, got. there was okay, there was more than I missed. It. <laughs> Remember, underground is a path to key eight and chunky. Haven't seen anything yet here. It's possible they may need to come back to the dungeon area. If they don't have anything immediately accessible um, in the crypt area. Obviously, you have the Kasplat. Um, you can't get Tiny's hands. You have access to that. You can also have access to Lanky's uh, mausoleum, but with no DK, yeah. no sprint, that's going to be a tough order. Uh, th you can do it, though. You don't need DK. <laughs> Yes, you don't need DK, but it is kind of tough to do. Um, you can kind of position yourself in a way where, like, you have a little bit of a head start on the timer. We'll see if cameras and obey ops to do it. And it's like, in this type of scenario, when you know you're potentially strapped for golden bananas, like, you do every out of logic check you can, because it could just be a golden banana that you need. But Camerson's not going to do it, but we'll see if they come back. Otherwise, this is pretty much the same route for all, both players here. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be too much deviation at the moment, although we'll see if they go back for the Lanky Mausoleum. Yeah, they both got all the same things in Forest. No one has anything that the other doesn't. Right, nine gold bananas for Cam. That will put them eight gold bananas away. Obius has one additional one. Um, that's still quite the lofty goal here. It's going to be taking a little bit more effort to get to that number. Um, that's probably going to be on both players' minds um, when they attempt to clear these out here. Um, we're going to have another boss sighting here in a second. Again, they're going to be high-fiving in here if they decide to do it. Yeah, with that boss hint, you can't be sure yet that it's actually hinting to diving as you're, <laughs> yeah, as you're move hinted by the path. Especially with Galleon this early, diving could be locking a lot more things than just keys five and eight. And you know you have lanky, tiny, chunky K rule, which require a lot. Oh, there's another potion. Yeah, that, that's an excellent point because we have double shipyard. So we have two shipyard outskirts hint. One is to eight lanky, chunky. Another is to 
four, but in these settings, it's only one check in the shipyard outskirts that doesn't require diving, right? Yeah. It's only the spot. Everything else in shipyard outskirts requires diving, so. Yeah, like, like you, that's a, yeah. <laughs> that's a sign that, that hit wasn't that for you're diving. Going to need it for something else. Now, with this purple potion on this boss, I would like to think that this gives you something, maybe like a saxophone, that gets you access to more things. Right, and we have that forest anthill way of the horde still, so with sax, they would be able to go back to forest and do that. And I mean, with the GB count, I'm sure we're going to be going back there before level 3 anyway. In our in our pool of a thousand seeds rolled or thousands I should say of seeds rolled uh, S two seeds rolled it looks like the highest level three that you can get they got was thirty gold bananas that's that's incredible be a fun one sounds like we need to find that one and submit it to JX Jacob to do as a viewer seed but let's find out what we got here. It is saxophone. Hey, synced up on the boss once again. Harrison's gonna have to leave, but I think Obio is going to do Lanky Mausoleum. Or he's gonna go outside for the Kasplat. Okay, yeah, they both skip Lanky Mausoleum. Yeah, so Camerson showing us that the... There's Donkey! Oh, okay, that's helpful. <laughs> Thank you, surprise Donkey Kong, for showing up. That's... That... Just having an extra Kong for these GBs is... So helpful in the long run. Yeah, because it might come down to just, like, going back to shops and making sure you're buying every gold banana that are in these shops for all the Kongs you have. All right, now we can get all these donkey bananas climbing up here. We got some more Kasplats. I'm slowly inching our way closer to that 17 GB count. Um, especially with these four Kongs, I'm confident we should be able to find seven more, no problem. So you said castle medals are path to just key five? Was that just a key five, yes. Okay. And with other hints toward key five, I have a feeling it's not just going to give us key five. Well, either it's not going to give us key five for free. We're going to get a move on with some of the easier metals, or um, key five is on metals in castle. It's just on one of the harder to get ones like Diddy's. Yeah, Diddy's is very locked behind moves. More Nophonium. Just want to give a quick shout to Nophonium, who broke her 101% PB yesterday by a couple minutes. Thanks for getting Rabbit Race Skip first try early. That's a pretty hype moment. One of the coolest parts about the 101% run for sure. Using that skip to skip the Rabbit Race is very fun to watch. Yeah, vanilla DK speedrunning isn't dead. I woke up today and had to verify like five runs. Yeah. I would argue that this is the most active 101% has ever been in its history. It was pretty active back in like 2015. Yeah, I would. Yeah, that's but, like, true. honestly, since then, probably. Yeah, there was that one time where, like, there was a ton of people running Wii U VC and they all were getting, like, in the 550s range. That was also a very active time. Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of gold bananas pop up on these castle checks now. This is probably why I wasn't concerned about offering you the 17 pack for level 3. Yeah, you still have Lanky Greenhouse here. Uh the tiny metal they're gonna get, and then the dirt at the top.
Nothing so on no. the lanky metal, though. So that was not our <laughs> hinted one. Now, Karrison actually found a trick where you can skip the maze, but not actually. Neither player is going to skip the maze because, yeah, like, we they need the lanky bananas here. Uh, you can skip the maze by there's two Kongs getting backflip higher than the other ones, Diddy and Tiny. And if you use tag, and there's another potion. Ooh. Well, oh, it's a max Oh, mode. and there's a zinger. <laughs> so this is, I mean, this is 50-50 for the monkey port you need. Just having the zinger up there, like you can't kill it. So like it <laughs> does not make this trivial, trivial at all. Uh, he killed the, the dice dude though. That was nice. <laughs> At least he- Oh no! Cam fell off! Oh. <laughs> and Obio takes the lead! Yeah, this is a pretty linear scene so far, so I like, guess it's gonna be pretty easy to tell where people are uh, in the... Uh, in kind of like an aspect of things where if progression goes... As far as progression goes, I should say. We've been getting suggestions to put the starfish from the uh, underwires into this, but I think that would just be too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is this monkey port or is this ponytail twirl? Let's find out. It's ponytail twirl. Ooh, so I mean, it's a nice move to have, but yes, absolutely. No indication that they need this yet. <laughs> I mean, look at look on the bright side. Now you can get Tiny's underground metal that uh, that we or Tiny's underground uh, bonus barrel that didn't have anything. Uh, you can also get her hands GB now. I wonder if yeah, goes you back could down go for back that. for that. Yeah. Like actually now, because I actually think there's more incentive to go back down there now that you can do both mausoleum checks. Right, because because we have we haven't found anything in Castle Underground yet, right? No. And we uh, have two we... separate paths. <laughs> Granted, that's probably going to be something close for the end of the game because it's just key eight chunky, but still. The other one was, I think, Castle Underground for just Lanky, right? Yes. I think. Yeah, so, so and, like, I mean, you have two, two, barrels. Two, two things minimum. So, yeah, I mean, after grabbing this dirt, I just drop right back down and go do the Lanky and they're Tiny. Probably gonna, yeah, they're probably going to do the DK room first and then pause exit to the mausoleum, is my guess. Yeah, I absolutely hate doing the DK library. It's very slow, but... <laughs> it's early and it's, it's successful, and it's a good pause exit. Oh, hey, Camerson's skipping it, though. I'm kind of surprised Obio's doing this, I guess. You're short going bananas, right? So like, because OVO is usually someone that skips, starts skipping things a lot when they have a solid path to stuff, but with so little going bananas, I'm not really surprised. Although, if Karrison is using this time to collect singular GBs with DK, I'd almost just, like, just think like, why shouldn't they just do right, the because library the, yeah. check in the first place? Yeah, that, that is a good point. This gets you an easier DK medal, assuming that you don't die to the books, because this is way harder than it looks to grab your <laughs> two DK bunches and make it through without dying. Um, Camerson looks like they're going to go to DK's dungeon check. That's the only one you can do on this level right now. Um, it is right, something yeah, you can do. DK now. Oh, looks like Obio's going there as well. That's a lot of tiny. <laughs> a lot of chunky, too. Those are the longest ones to get to. 
Baboon balloon. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's uh, a little vague. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I was. I would hope Camerson just goes down to the crypt area, and it looks like that's what's gonna happen. Challenge the Cyclops, DK. Camerson is making the choice here to. Do more castle underground checks here since it's at least a second item. Baboon balloon is even not necessarily <laughs> what is being hinted. All right, what do we got here? Oh, I think it's a potion. Yeah, that did look like one. It's a clear. It's barrel throw. It is. All right, that's oh, almost certainly our path to Lanky here. Unless there is like trombone is also down here as well. That is guaranteed our lanky path. It is looking more and more likely that like P5 might be on a ca the Diddy or Chunky Castle medals since those are out of logic right now, the, the chunky one is really like finicky where you can get 35 bananas, but those final five with chunky, you need another move. Harrison's gonna need to take extra time to get another uh, gold banana here. Uh, meanwhile, Obio already has 17, so he can literally just go straight into Japes if he wanted to, but they have to go back to forest at some point. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't, you know, I'd say it's perfectly valid to go back to forest first here and see what was on Ant Hill. Although, Owl Tree was only path to Key 8, so that could just be like a Gorilla Gone or something. Yeah, maybe they're not really that concerned about it. Um, but you also need to consider that Mini Monkey is path to 5 8 and Tiny. So there's also that. Oh, wait, no, they must oh. have already got that, right? Because if it's Path to Tiny, that's definitely not going to be Monkey Port. Unless Monkey Port's locked behind a bunch of other stuff. I think it's just saying it's Path to Tiny because it's, it is Mini Monkey, so it's more than the 5 and 8 is what you're trying to understand. Yeah, that's true. That's also and with, a good call. With, 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 I guess with Trough and Scoff also being 5 to 8, that was most likely Sack. So I guess that is, yeah, that's pointing to Ant Hill actually being the 5 and 8. And that maybe there's right, another item on Alfie. Favorite LP. fairy. Oh, it ran out right away. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Obi was just oh, going for flick pictures. The flicks. Yo, that was oh, pretty sick. It worked. Oh wow, Camerson is opting for Japes over Galleon first. This is an interesting, this is definitely a divergence of routing here, so we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, Camerson going for the early Diddy instead, since we know Diddy is on a shop here, and since you have all four Kongs, Nothing could possibly stop you unless, yeah, no, nothing could. Unfortunately, stop you. <laughs> did not see what was in that. Uh, it looks oh, there's something there. Oh. It's a two potions. Two potions. Was that a clear Valentinius? Yeah. Oh boy. Our barrel throw only locks lanky phase, so it's very unlike unless barrel throwing also they like it could also lock trombone, right? But I think that's right. a very low likelihood because we got other lanky phase hints. We'll see. All right, this is a DK potion. Ooh. It is. Ooh, that's a that's really okay. good. Going into Jace with coconut is really strong. Karenson's not going to have that advantage. Yeah, that speeds up your 
DK metal a lot in Japes and gets you uh, this both of gets... those potions in the cages, yeah. Yeah, but remember that um, Forest Hell Tomb's only path to key 8, and that's it. So it's very likely that could be like an instrument, or if Diddy, um, if Diddy Helms in there, that could be like a rocket barrel, if rocket barrel doesn't lock much. We'll see what happens. So it's probably not going to prevent progression from Camerson too much, he just needs to make an extra trip back. Hello, did, do we know, like, we, we can't be certain that that is the owl tree item that's only path to key 8. Yeah, yeah, that's also that's also true. It looks like Obio got the Kasplat, um, but we could be having a rabbit race, aka the main character race, or we could have something on the owl. Regardless, Coconut is way of the horde, so like, it's like Coconut's definitely needed for something. Right. Harrison is buying blueprints, and with the high amount of gold bananas required, I'm not really shocked. <laughs> um, tiny forest metal, only giving us uh, vanilla metal this time. Looks like Obeel is going to do DK's barn before he leaves. Um, just be a little bit more thorough checking here. I believe Camerson already had... I think Camerson did this check already? I, I can't remember. I, I, yeah, Camerson had it night. But he was here the first time. Looking at my hints, I don't think there's anything else that was hinted in Japes, really. It was just Diddy Kong. Yeah. We did get an ammo belt, so there's that. Yeah, one of the, the way of the hordes we haven't talked about in a while is the Aztec Chunky Claptrap uh, check. And, you know, that requires triangle and pineapple, logically. So... We still need to find <laughs> pineapple and triangle for that, whatever that is. Uh, looks like Obeo is going to get another fairy here. Good thinking by him. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I like going for these fairies here. Yeah, Obeo has two now. He has access to a third, but like, it, he doesn't have access to five, so there's no reason to get the one by Fairy Island yet. Um, he's gonna go op- Ooh, this is interesting. He's gonna opt for Galleon first. Um, mm. we'll see if this is the better choice here, but... I would've opted for Japes just for the Diddy check like Camerson did. But, um, we'll see what happens. I mean, he needs... An 18th gold banana for Japes, right? True. Maybe if this is a gold banana, you just <laughs> go back to Japes. Okay, yeah, he's saying mini mug. He's just gonna go into Galleon. Alright, this is gonna be interesting here. I don't, like, just looking at the hints we have, I don't think skipping out on Diddy here is going to be that bad. Because even if you have Diddy coming in here, you don't have really any of his moves to do, be able to do anything in here, right? Like, consider his outskirts stuff. Like, you have Mechanical Fish. That needs Rocket Barrel. That needs Instrument. That needs Peanuts. That's likely not going to have our key four. Um, you also have... Um, well, you have five or ship, but that's not part of outskirts, but it's, what I'm trying to say, it's pretty unlikely that Diddy's going to be needed to get key four for a progression here. Yeah, although something that I think sets some of the top runners apart and it makes them really, really fast is efficiently routing in your banana medals as you're going through levels the first time. So by, by having Diddy it, when you're entering Galleon for the first time, you're picking up potentially 
you know, the, the 10 Diddy bananas going up to Cranky, then you can go get the 20 down by Mechfish. So that's one more check that Obio isn't going to be able to do here without Diddy. It's like Karrison is taking some kind of bathroom break here. Yo, my 101% PB has a bathroom break. No shame at all. <laughs> I mean, I also go to the bathroom to my 101 PB, but <laughs> the game yeah, pad comes your with strength, me. Connor? <laughs> Connor, what is what is your bathroom strat for 101%? The people need to hear it. All right, so when you know. I've, I've moved from like apartment to apartment quite a few times over the years and whenever I'm deciding where to put my desk in my bedroom I'm like it has to be within range of the bathroom so that when I take my gamepad during the key turn-ins when visiting K Lumsey or, or or sometimes I go during cutout as well I, I, the gamepad has terrible range to the Wii U so it I need to make sure that my desk is somewhat close to the bathroom so I carry my gamepad with me and play cutout <laughs> On the way back. Yeah, it's it's definitely the strat if you're a Wii U player. You can't. Re well, I mean, you may be able to do that on N64, but you have to like. You still wouldn't have the screen, right? <laughs> um, it is definitely an only Wii U thing if you consider that. Oh, there's a potion here. All right, this is Shipyard Outskirts. Maybe. Remember, it was only path to key four. Well, there's also an eight lanky chunky in outskirts, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. There's two things here. Double hinted underground, double hinted outskirts. Harrison is going to do the full japes clear here. We have a potion. Pretty easy one on Crazy Kong Clamor. Not easy normally, only in randomizer. <laughs> this is the one that goes super fast. And there's trombone. All right, so that is our eight lanky chunky path item. And then there's one more thing in super outskirts that is path to key four. It's more than likely just like key four, maybe sitting on the Kasplat. So now something to consider as well. Um, remember, we got feather for forest metal rewards, and that somehow has to get us path to Lanky. Um, we did get barrel throw off feather, so that's our confirmation for that. So it's very likely that there's probably nothing else on forest metal rewards. Um, we also got Gallon Shipyard Outskirts, we got Castle Underground, that got us the two moves need for Lanky phase. So I think, in essence, we have solved all the Lanky paths. Wait, okay, was was that Force Metal Path to 8, Lanky, Chunky, and Tiny, or was Tiny... It was Lanky, Tiny, Key 8. Oh, oh, it was Lanky, Tiny, okay, I just had it written down wrong. That makes sense. So Lanky and Tiny phase, with getting that feather, Lanky and Tiny phase are solved, Key 8, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Um, it could be trombone to key eight. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. Um, because Feather didn't lock trombone. Um, but still, um, we need to figure out what's going on with key eight being locked by Feather. Oh, we got a potion here. Let's see what that's all about. Yeah, finding trombone there, it's like that's also on the path to eight and chunky, and it could easily be eight for like a helm room or something. I don't know if we have that info yet. Oh, Primate Punch. All right, we have finally have a chunky move needed to beat the game. Yeah, Trombo needs to somehow get them a move for chunky, which I don't think we... Uh... Yeah, I don't think we have a lead to that yet. Maybe it's just in five door ship, we'll see. Oh, here's a key. Okay, key four. There we go. Hey, yep. There is our gallon shipyard outskirts. Our, our other gallon shipyard's outskirts hint solved. 
All right, and camera's going to show us the way of the horde. Oh, wait, no. We, we know this is Coconut. I forgot. We've yes. already watched this. <laughs> but yeah, I like what Obio is doing. Uh, trombone check because the trombone has to lead to something else. And also lets you peek two other five door ship checks in here because some of the five door ship rooms are connected. Um, Lanky, Diddy, and Chunky's are, so you can just peek into these windows and see what the other checks are. Or maybe Obio is just not gonna. Oh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Does Obio know about that? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I'd hope he knows. He's a veteran DK runner. Maybe he knows Five Door Ship is foolish and that he just came in here for a gold banana. Hey, may maybe he's big braining this and um, we're tiny braining. But anyway, he is going to go into Tiny's Gallon Ship. This will be fairy number three for him with an additional fairy in tow by Fairy Island. This is going to be four fairies effectively for Obio. Then uh, there is a fairy in japes behind the Rambi door. <laughs> uh, oh, that does get you five, doesn't it? Okay, well, there we go. Five. And with Primate Punch. Uh, oh, Primate uh, Punch, you have Factory Lobby mm, access? We'll, well find it. Factory's do, level five. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Punch Chest. Yeah. So, yeah, that is. So, yeah, we have. Ac Obio does have access. So, we are good there. All right, hype chest, you have to check this. Five checks, it's, <laughs> you have to. A worst case scenario, you get a couple gold bananas. Or I guess it can always be worse. It could be a five crowns. <laughs> I mean, for the last, the Friday weekly that wasn't streamed, there was three medals in here, which Ooh. was very annoying. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if I'm hoping Obio pause exits to do the big treasure chest room with Primate Punch. Looks like we got a few gold bananas in here. That will work, even if there's no uh, potions. Yo, nice accidental clip. This is a pause exit out of Galleon, but not back to Isles. So I think he is going to, in fact, get that chest. I hope. He might just turn and go to Lighthouse and just throw my plans off, but... And... Okay, go. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is a really good route to take. You're getting a check and a fairy. And there's not too many other good fairies that they have available, for sure. Because now you can just go to Banana Fairy Island, get your fifth fairy. Uh, something interesting to note here: um, we don't know where Vines is. It is required to be before entering level four, and we have there's no signs of where that could be. Now, is it actually required to beat the game? We'll see. Um, you have Asic Logic with Ponytail Twirl already, so um, that's solved there. Um, but we have no idea where Vines is otherwise. Um, you will need it to access Helm. I mean, it could so be fairy, I point. think. <laughs> we'll see. I hope Obio just goes there right away and finds out. I think that's what's going to happen. Yep. I'm, I'm looking at Camerson's tracker, and he only has one fairy marked, I think. I don't I don't know if, he, if he's been going around getting fairies. Yeah, so he might not getting this for a while. We'll see. I hope it's at the back of his mind still. That would be something really awful to forget about. It is a clear vial. Ooh, I think this that's, is it. It's looking like vines. All 
right, that's a big yeah. one. So I guess, fortunately for Camerson, Vines is not something that's necessarily needed early in the seed. Y you can have plenty of seeds. You go the entire game, and you don't need Vines until you need to go to Helm. It's also possible you do need it early on. They're, like, Vines locks... It doesn't lock too much, but, like, it does lock sporadic checks throughout the game. It does, and it, it helps to have it early, because as you're going through their levels, you you can get quick Welcome checks by having stage. vines. Looks like Obio is going to opt to check some isle, miscellaneous isle stuff. Ooh, crown is gone, and there's no battle pad. That means the battle pad had a junk item, so you don't need to check it. This is a quirk with how junk items work in DK64. The uh, pad just doesn't spawn. Trombone Tremor acquired on the side of Camerson. Very good. So right, unless... we're doing more trombone. Now skipping Diddy for um Obio for Gallon. It turns and it's turning out to be, unless like Diddy's metal has something, right? It's looking like it's going to be a nice idea because like he didn't really have access to any Diddy stuff anyway. Yeah, it's really only the metal he missed. It's kind of fitting music for Camerson being in Galleon. And it was a battle crown. <laughs> Not Dang, punished well at all. You say not punish, but I think it was a very nice play by Obeo, knowing that he did not really need much. Or he couldn't get much with Diddy anyway, so like, may as well just do Galleon first. Well, yeah, it's, it's working out great. And now that he sees, oh, two potions on <laughs> these cages, now that he has Coconut, which Camerson didn't have in Japes, to be able to check these cages. Obeo probably, like, this place he's doing right now is Barrel Throw Lock, and, like, he's already done with the Barrel Throw Path. So, like, he probably knows that there's not going to be any, like, moves down here, but, like, this is still a quick two check, so, like, if you get two GBs off it, that's still good. Primate Punch acquired on the side of Camerson. Both players actually have a similar amount of golden bananas here, but I think Japes was pretty loaded with golden bananas, so Obeo probably will be catching up here shortly. So yeah, in terms of thinking ahead, uh, we have a, a factory storage and arcade, Path of Chunky. We have an Aztec Chunky Claptrap Room, Way of the Horde. And... Uh, I, I guess... Wait, <laughs> they're still just going to be looking for key five, which might come down to Probably what their level five is. Yeah, metal. It's key, key oh, yeah, five was castle on metal metals. Rewards. Yeah, castle metal. So yeah, I wonder if that's going to be on Diddy or a uh, Diddy or Chunky check for the castle metal. Those are the most locked ones there. What was the other key five path other than the Trophy Scoff? Uh, Mini Monkey was path to key five. A mini Monkey, um, okay. Um, and then... Yeah, Trough and Scoff was the other one. So, um, yeah, so Sax and Mini got you Coconut. So you're, you're thinking at this point, Coconut gets you... Uh, something for those castle medals. Yeah, definitely a lot to think about here. I think we're still, like, we don't know enough to know if we have effectively solved the seed yet here. Um, we don't know who has Helm access. We never got a hint for that yet. Um, we, well, we do know all three Kongs who need to beat K. Rule, but we don't have Hunky Chunky or Gorilla Gone yet. Um, we already have enough moves to beat Tiny and Lanky's K. Rule phase. Emerson following basically the same path as 
Obiu did earlier, and Obiu's doing the same thing both for Camerson. Um, Camerson looks like he does remember... Ooh, they got a sniper scope. I don't think I remember that one. Um, maybe Camerson never got it. Doesn't look like he did on his tracker, but... Um, Camerson does remember to do a fairy, so that puts him at two now, fortunately. Yeah, w without DK's gun, you, you kind of have to go out of your way for his James Metal. You have to make sure you climb enough trees. Yeah, the nice thing is uh, the Golden Banana gathering is coming along quite nicely here. Like, we're not even an hour in, and both players are over halfway done with their Golden Bananas. Camerson's almost even at 40. Actually, Obeo's pretty close, too. 37 and 36 Golden Bananas, respectively, at 58 minutes in. Very good seed so far, as far as Golden Banana access goes. And that now we know why that why level 3 costs is 17, because there's just so many early on. Yeah. With you, you had four Kongs to get you to 17. And now, like, you know, thinking back to that Castle Underground path to 8 and Chunky, it could have been Baboon Balloon, but now that they have Trombone, that's also path to 8 and Chunky... Maybe they need to take Trombone back and do Lanky Dungeon to get uh, something there that's actually Path 8 and Chunky. Yeah, and I mean, if you start to, like, wind down on Shex, they're going to be starting to think about that. Like, right, that, and... That bo 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 is like, who knows? <laughs> and they're, they're going back to Castle for Metals. <gasps> Baboon Blast! Ooh. Obi never got that! <laughs> the Galleon Tiny Metal. Now, Baboon Blast doesn't lock the- Oh, there's Super Simeon Slam. You need that for K. Rule. Yep. And there's Guitar. And Guitar. Awesome. <laughs> Huge moves. Not necessarily... I mean, they're hinted from the fact that... Coconut... Got you them, and... I still think Coconut is... Path to key five. <laughs> so right. we'll see what level five is and what Obio does here. Let's see what the fairy is first, though. The mermaid? <laughs> yeah, mermaid, yep. <laughs> what do we got for hints? Jabe Slowlands one potion. We already got that. Um, that was guitar. Oh, that was just a blueprint on the mermaid. Seal race! Oh, you seal do race. the blue blast! Oh, no. Okay, this is spicy. This now, <laughs> this now becomes interesting. Okay, and the there castle is chunky metal wave horde. Yep, there you go. That's our key five. And then Aztec was 20-something to enter, so... Um, they clearly have more than enough now. Uh, Cat, or Bee Blast is on a metal. I think it's Tiny's in Galleon. So, Obeo's gonna have to know to... Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one, I think. Well, he knows he has to go back there, but, like, he has to go back there to get Baboon Blast. But yeah, he doesn't know that, that there's nothing indicating that... He Tiny could, Metal he, and Galleon is Baboon but Blast. Yeah. He could get bit unless like Baboon Blast or unless the Seal Race Skip has something that need you need uh Chunky's metal for, he could get bailed out by hints. Chunky's Yeah. We'll we'll see what the the future because there's still ten more hints in level six and seven coming. Yeah, this could be anyone's race at the moment here. Like, it would, for a while, Obi was clearly ahead, but with that, that's kind of throwing a wrench into that. And now with Primate Punch, the the Castle Chunky Metal is available if that's just Key 5. Alright, 
curious to see what Obio does here. Uh, well, it looks like he's checking some hints now. <laughs> um, Obio does not write hints down, so you'll occasionally see him pull up the hint screen again if he needs to confirm something. So Camerson is doing the seal race here with... He never got the hint. He's just doing this as part of the galleon route. Yep. Right? <laughs> I mean, the seal does tell you what it has, but, like, he tells you it's a bottle of grog. So, like, he's I doing know, this. but, yeah, Camerson has been playing very thorough and... <laughs> Does pay to be thorough sometimes, and it's gonna pay off here. Alright, so we're going back to Aztec here, and um, it looks like Obio is gonna be chasing mini monkey checks for the mini monkey hint. Ooh, that's monkey port. Now, that may not be that big of a deal for Obio now, um, because like he can still get level five access, but like if he never gets any hints for bab for baboon blast, he's not gonna know where to go. Yeah, because say you you reach a point at the end of the seed where oh I'm gonna go get my monkey port hint that says galleon DK, and you're like. Yeah, I already know Seal Race is the way of the Horde. I'm missing Baboon Blast. It'll be a nice route for Camerson here, because this will route in an extra fairy for him, as well as get this check. Yeah, and this, like, route divergence all sort of stemmed from the fact that... Uh, Camerson went to Japes before Galleon, and Obio did it in the other order. Okay, yeah, Camerson got his five fairies pretty quick after all. Obio have access to Chunky's medal in the castle. I know he has 35 at the very least, but does he have 40? Right, with, with barrels and primate punch, you get five more in, in museum. So... Yeah, yeah, so you got the 30 underground, you got the five in museum, but is there five more somewhere? Wait. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that is just 35. You're right. You're right. Uh, yeah, you, you need Baboon Blast for you, Yeah, I, I guess you need Baboon Blast. Never mind. <laughs> uh, or, or you need Pineapple yeah. for the other one, so... Yeah, I, I think what Koopa said in chat is right here where this baboon <laughs> blast is what you need for the chunky metal without pineapple Harrison's gonna go and get looks looks like this is going to be key five here Maybe not. Oh right, he doesn't have. He doesn't have coke, or he doesn't have pineapple, so he can't get the uh, forty in here. He has to go up to the room. Yo, this is some NA sniping right here from Obio. Um, more golden bananas. Nothing really too much showing up here. Now remember, um, we got hinted for Aztec Chunky Kasplat. We don't have pineapple yet, so it's gotta be somewhere. Like, where could it be? 
Pineapple is probably just in level 6 or 7, because if the logic is pointing to all these moves to get to the chunky metal uh, without Pineapple, then Pineapple, uh, then the Castle Chunky Metal gets you key 5, and then Pineapple is probably locked by key 5. It'll be a while before Opio goes back. Oh, wait, we hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh, this is a nice upgrade. <laughs> All right, I like Camerson checking this room down yeah. here. You, you know this is there's. A nice play. <laughs> you know either baboon balloon is your important <gasps> path item. There it or, is. Yep. There's. But Camerson, you have ponytail twirl. Why are you using baboon balloon? It's, <laughs> it's fun watching Lanky float. What do you mean? Welcome to bonus. All right, day. we got a searchlight cease here, and this this is probably the other other underground hint. I have a feeling this is Gorilla God. Yeah, eight and chunky makes sense. Yep, that makes sense. It is in fact Gorilla God. So Castle Underground, that technically could have been either for Baboon Balloon or Gorilla God because Baboon Balloon goes directly to Gorilla God. Yes, both are path to eight and chunky. <laughs> So that solves that. We're still missing Hunky Chunky. No idea where that could be. Uh, Actually, no, we do. Factory Storms yeah. was hinted Chunky Phase, so we do have an idea. I was wrong. Yeah, you're good on K Rule. Now it's just getting potentially just instruments for Helm is. Where's Obio gonna go? Not Galleon, okay. Castle makes sense. There's too much but hinted back here. <laughs> he will get Gorilla gone, at least. But no, without Baboon Blast, he can't... He can't no really way do to get much, the though. Metal. There's the bean! There... Maybe we'll get a Beanstalk check here. That'd be beautiful. Oh, that is a rare vanilla <laughs> primate punch puzzle. And there's key five. There Just it is. Just as we expected. All right, Camerson has a nice path forward here, even though he was behind for a bit. Obio needs to get Baboon Balloon as far as we know. Level 7 Factory, wow. It's tough because the only way to figure out where your Baboon Blast is is to recognize that okay, Mini Monkey was path to key 5, Sax was path to key 5, and then that's what it gets you enough <laughs> bananas and galleon. I guess I don't oh, know. Oh, about... lighthouse area, yeah. foolish! Oh, there's another castle Ooh. metal rewards. Uh, main main isles foolish. That's a very rare one. D tiny lanky. Ooh. And then what was that last hint? I missed it. It was a shop. Oh, Castle Candy Chunky's Way of the Horde. That was key seven. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, Camerson we got maybe key going five back. on Castle Metal <laughs> Rewards, but there's something else on Castle Metal Rewards that apparently we need to get. I think it's Diddy Castle. Diddy Castle Metal. What was Has what was be. that other hint that it said? Like what other hint? It was main. So main aisle was foolish. Lighthouse area okay. is foolish. We got the okay. blastomatic hint. We got castle metal rewards key eight. We got okay, castle, castle metal's key eight. Yeah, that's what I was missing. Okay, so 
I mean, yeah, that's be the Diddy we've seen on the other core. I'm sure if Obeo went down here, maybe thought there was a green bunch on the warp, but there isn't. There's no Gorilla Grab either, so I'm not really sure what he's attempting to do here. And there's Honky Chunky, as we suspected. So now that we know oh, the Helm oh, Order... Gorilla, Gorilla Grab what you started with, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot it's about easy that. to forget about. But this makes sense because he's trying to clear out all of the underground stuff. He just happened to take the uh, incorrect right way first. Yeah, Camerson is a slam in a guitar behind Obeo right now, but that shouldn't be a problem. Camerson saw the potions and japes earlier. We'll go back to those eventually. It's more the the rocket barrel for Helm that might be our problem here. Yeah, that doesn't get... Well, that's not going to get hinted... Well, it might get hinted. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's, it's probably buried within these Path to Key 8 hints. It's probably Castle Metal Rewards, I'm sure. You would I need a peanut. So. If it's... You, you need peanuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right. If you're it's... Right. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> if it's on... I mean, it's very possible that... Yeah, maybe peanuts is in, like, the... the tiny <laughs> Temple of Chunky. Nice okay. try, Camerson. <laughs> Jabe's Metal Rewards, one potion... The rare um, banana room is one potion. <laughs> what a surprise. Ballerina's Way of the Horde. That's Ponytail Twirl. And what was the last one? Japes Hillside to eight? Japes Hillside uh, to eight, yep. I mean, I know we found the slam there, but was anything else in Hillside? I don't think so. That's interesting, though, because Slam is a chunky path, but, like, Slam may be excluded from that just because the either-ors cannot be hinted properly. Yeah, um, that would be... So, th this is... I would almost <laughs> consider this an unsolved hint. Well, if we think about it, if our Coconut really was only path to Key 8, and then Coconut gets a Slam, uh... Yeah, I don't know. This is weird to think about. Like, where could the other slam be? That that slam isn't Path of Chunky. So does Obio have metal? It doesn't look doesn't... like it. No, like he needs like, to turn around now. There's two balloons here. He needs, he to, needs get to get it this trip to Galleon, or else. <laughs> Otherwise, he's not getting it. Unless he got it and didn't mark it. No, it looks like he's. Okay, well, if he's going in here. <laughs> It's like extra bad that this is what is locking your key five, so you have no chance at even getting more hints from the later levels to help with this situation. All right, there's Slam. There's Guitar. All right, we are just a rocket barrel away. And we know Castle Mel Rewards is Pat the Key 8. Um, it looks like Camerson is going to opt to go to Aztec, though. Oh, he never even went to Aztec, I don't think. Or maybe no, Camerson hasn't been there yet. Yeah, he's just checking the hints for the first time. Is, is there a good place to go right now? Is... 
You, you know of all these places that are hinted, you just can't do them. Checking the Drunky Chunky. Um, Camerson has. Oh, actually, did Opio skip this check? Oh, just a gold banana. Because oh boy, Bill is just skipping these tiny bananas. Was, wait, he, was he at ten? He's at ten. Oh. Valid strategy here to just rush into Helm, get your triangle hint, <laughs> and figure out where a triangle is, and hope I, that I think that's valid. Tiny Temple I saves you. <laughs> Camerson is someone that could do that. I've seen Camerson do make that play before. Because Pineapple could be one of these Way of the Horde places that's hinted. Because you know logically Pineapple is going to be required in this, this chain to key 8. But, uh, you don't need it. You can use another Kong's gun to enter the Tiny Temple and utilize Tag anywhere. So you could rush Helm, go for the Triangle Hint, hope it's somewhere you can get, and then hope that <laughs> it all comes together somehow. But that's asking for a lot. Um... Okay, yeah. Obio's just doing random checks now. I think, I feel like if he's doing all the galleon checks, he's gonna eventually come across it. Yeah, he just needs 30 more tiny bananas. Yeah, it sucks because he probably like skipped the 10 in tiny Tudor ship when he was going through there to get trombone. Or wait, or was that, that was in the, the lanky, or was that the link here to the tiny room? Um. <laughs> it was one of the rooms, but yeah, yeah I, I think, I thought it was the... <laughs> Whatever it was, uh, he needs 30 more tiny bananas. Yeah, they got key seven, just, it was easy in a castle shop. Oh, I, I guess that's not marked on the trackers. I don't think there's anything Obio can access. Well, I guess Ob I don't know if Obio did the five dork temple stuff, but otherwise I don't think Camerson can access much more than what Obio did earlier. Yeah, you might want to start narrowing down things that, you know, like aren't path to key eight, at least. Uh, <laughs> barrels? Was wait, M Mini was yeah, Mini was path of key eight, obviously, because the vine. Yeah, you just have a lot of multi path hints to key eight, so it's tough to narrow it down. So key five was the castle chunky metal, which you need baboon blast for. 
to get since there's no pineapple in sight. So you need Baboon Blast to get those final five bananas in the castle tree. And Baboon Blast is on the Galleon Tiny Metal. And the only lead to that was really the, the Sax path to key five. Since Sax is your recipe for getting <laughs> enough tiny bananas in Galleon for the metal. All right, well, we know Obio did Hype Chest already. This is gonna get... Well, oh, he's at 15 bananas. Okay, oh great, 25 only. He already turns them in, so I think he only needs... Turn in 10, so he needs 15 more. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna eventually get it. Like, he could just like, orphan. He could choose Orphan, but I don't think he is, because he's being really thorough here. I like what Camerson is doing oh, here. Oh, wait! No way! <laughs> Baboon, Balloon, Baboon Balloon was Path to Key 8. Oh boy, this could be something. And and Coconut is Path to Key 8. I... Did did Camerson just not... Camerson never did this? this. Yeah, Camerson never did this. All right, we are going to see the strategy we were talking about earlier, which is Camerson is going to go in here, find out where Triangle is. In the meantime, is this Triangle? Oh, oh my God! It is pineapple. And That's okay, big pull. And the only like the the way this works in the logic is because uh, Mini Monkey and Sax locked Coconut, and this logically requires high water. So all this was locked behind Sax anyway. Yep. Just the ability to get up here with high water. You need the coconut, which is locked by Sax. So, no, Obeid was completely saved by getting pineapple. <laughs> oh, where was Triangle? I just missed it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I was looking either. <laughs> All right, Chaz got to bail us out. Oh, Factory does... Diddy. Oh, boy. Yeah, the, the problem uh, here is Obio still needs Baboon Blast. Uh, right, for monkey, still need to get monkey Port. Like, he'll see the <laughs> Monkey Port hit, but, like, that's not going to be very helpful. And now we know, like, Camerson has checked virtually all of the hints in the game, I think, right? Maybe he missed the Caves Diddy one, but I think Camerson has gotten all the hints. There is not a Galleon Metal hint out there. <laughs> So, Obio is saved for the key five, but now getting the Baboon Blast for Monkey Port is... going to be a nightmare. Since you will get... He's going over for the Monkey Port hit. It's going to say Galleon DK. So, if anything, I think that Pineapple <laughs> makes him lose time. Because now he has yeah. the entire seed open to him to look for Baboon Blast when really <laughs> yeah, being stuck in the first... Yeah, that was a moment, but... High <laughs> moment, but I think this is... Yeah, this is possible. Because, like, what's his incentive to go back into Galleon now? I mean, he for... might go back there to check the DK stuff, but, like... Yeah, I guess the Light Lighthouse is foolish. Lighthouse is foolish. What else do you have with DK left there? Uh, He's... Yeah, there's, the there's the Lighthouse Foolish hint. <laughs> yeah, no indication we need bongos. I think Camerson just looked at that for the sake of... Yeah. Just in case. Uh, this is probably our triangle here. Yeah, best case scenario, this is Triangle. Peanuts on Chunky Tiny Temple. And then Rocket Barrel on Castle Diddy Metal. And then Camerson is set. Hey, there we go. So we 
god, I have pineapple lol cameras in. Alright, Obio is using the boulder to make this jump over to the hint easier, and... <laughs> if this is a galleon tiny metal way to the horde, he may be saved. Nope! Oh, that is that useless. Is... <laughs> Oof. Alright, chat. Strap, buckle yourselves in. This is gonna be bringing me in this for the long run, potentially. I guess it depends on what Camerson gets here. So this is peanuts, right? Yeah. The swerve! Why would you do this, Diddy? So you can get the- like, this isn't a very often seen golden banana, but there is tech for getting that potion without doing this room. You can chimpy charge your way and grab it before- like, during the cutscene before the potion goes down. Um, but I think Camerson was accidentally holding it a different direction, and he missed it. But there is tech. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways. You could tiny kick slide, DK kick, chippy charge. Um, there's even some glitched ways to do it that are obviously banned in these rule sets, but you can like there's like a swim through vertical walls you can do. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's just the rocket barrel. <laughs> Alright, well. Wait. <laughs> Okay, well, there we What's go. What's the other castle metal? Man, this uh, is mean... gonna be stuck in Hint Wonderland now, as Karrison is just gonna calmly finish the seed um, in about 10 more minutes here. <laughs> I guess we could have a Diddy Gun minigame in Helm, and it's peanuts on the other castle metal, but... Uh, oh, what if it's the rocket barrel shooting minigame? Oh, we could get 2 percent in here. Yeah, like, you need peanuts for Helm... that. Could be a helm shooting game still, but if we get two percented, Karrison has to come back. This isn't go mode yet. Potentially. Welcome to bonus day. Right, hockey chunky. Alright. So if this ends up being like busy barrel bear or something, then it's just all for tweet for. But if we see the 2% game, which is the did the vanilla Diddy Helm game, that is that hard requires peanuts. You can't use any of the other cons guns to shoot those switches. Oh my god, let's see. Let's see. Welcome no, neither day. required gun. Oh, then what? Then, then what? Uh, what did we skip logically? Uh, we, we, skip, we skip some things logically then. <laughs> Man, well, Karrison is going to be winning this race, but like, the problem is Obeo is not going to know. <laughs> Obio's gonna be maybe stuck for a while here. No, like, there is a realistic chance you're stuck here for an hour because there's there's no way of narrowing it down that the Boom Blast is on a Galleon Metal. You've already full cleared. He full cleared the Galleon, most of Galleon yeah. and he, he is effectively orphaning that because the, the only reason he would go back there is to do uh, the cannon game room or the tiny metal. That's literally it. So like he's going to do these other wells that have a lot more stuff that need to be done. Oh, chat has reminded us we did skip the Simeon Spring on the block tower. We did so, skip that. But, that. but that means Peanuts is Whoa, somewhere out there thing. to get the Diddy Castle metal. Not that <laughs> you really need any of that. This camera's gonna show this.
Welcome to bonus stage. I have a feeling that Galleon Tiny Metal is going to be tricky for a lot of the racers today, and that, <laughs> like, it's not just Obio that, you know, skip that. That That is a tricky check yeah. to route in. So, a Tiny Metal did cause a downfall of a race today, it just wasn't the one that we were all thinking. <laughs> I mean, I had the exact Tiny Metal lose me my <laughs> race, <laughs> my Kevin race last night. It was the Galleon Tiny Metal is what I missed. So it's just me reliving that right now. Welcome to bonus stage. Surprise in Helm so far. We got some pretty straightforward games here with nothing like no games like requiring additional hints or anything. Yeah, and this is yeah, this is the final final mini game. Oh, diving at least. I love those seeds where you think you can skip diving. And then you get to your final Helm minigame. And it's one of these water ones. Well Alright, Helm is off. We just got about five more minutes of K rule. We we know all three K rules and also K rule Kongs, no surprise here. at this point peanuts could be on the beanstalk right <laughs> peanuts were logically required as far as i know for that diddy castle metal but don't know where those were because we're assuming simeon spring was on that diddy castle metal kind of glad to see that simi uh, that super simian slam too because sometimes those tend to be really buried and like not part of path ends. wait 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 we need to go back to that hillside to eight <laughs> what's that how is james hillside to eight again <laughs> camerson is always willing to check out these additional checks so maybe he'll do that for us once he comes in here maybe because yeah, clearly if it was super simian slam like, maybe that's something Peanuts locked? But then what would that be? But it, it's just... How would you have... Uh, that slam... Path to Key 8, but not Path to Shuffle? Feel race for the fans? Can, I, we should probably ask Camerson where he suspects things are, and then we can, uh, like, if he doesn't know where things are, we can just tell him where to go, and then he can probably solve the seed for yeah. us. 
No, I know viewers wanted like some kind of crazy season two seed or the final one, but like, I think this is a very good representation of what a pretty good season two seed is actually. I feel like a lot, a lot of the hints were like, even though like the unhit stuff was like pretty straightforward. So like there wasn't anything too crazy here. Like this is a very good one to end on for season two. I don't know, this just sums up where you could... We were appraising Obio's route for the first, like, hour of this seed. And then that Baboon Blast just just killed it by missing a somewhat unhinted metal. Two phases down, so we just have tinies left. You know, as much crap as we have flowered for making these like insane seeds, this was a good one to end on. I do want to emphasize though, like these aren't planned old seeds. The, the race monitors just push the button to make them. It's just that Flower tends to make a lot more evil seeds than anyone else for some reason. <laughs> it's just random. <laughs> So, I mean, it wasn't a complete casino because you know you needed something in the first uh, five levels to get you the moves for the castle chunky metal. And for Camerson, Baboon Blast was the, you know, the final piece of the puzzle to get enough color bananas for chunky and castle to hit 40. It just so happens that both Baboon Blast and Pineapple. It was an either or for those to be able to get to 40 bananas for Chunky and Castle. Both of those were logically locked by Sax. And Sax is what was hinted path to key five. So you you don't really know that Pineapple or you don't know that Baboon Blast was also available. Like you find the pineapple and think, oh, that was what was needed to get to key five and it's probably not even on Obio's mind that Baboon Blast was sitting in that same level so what was on the Kasplat now that Obio just got oh I wasn't looking <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see if he picked any on a selector there was a GP Wait, then why was that hinted? I thought it was Aztec Chunky. No, Wait, no, no, the, no, that's the, the, the tiny temple. It's for, tiny yeah. Temple, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? I put it as the splat, even though I knew it was the other thing. Never mind. Pineapple. Yeah, lanky gold tower, which Camerson, you know, we said Camerson was very thorough, but skip the pineapple and it all worked out. GG's Camerson 141, and that is a first place finish in this race room of 20 entrants. GG's. Yeah, very impressive time for the seed. <laughs> Man, if only Obio got Tiny's medal in that first trip to Galleon, this would have been a really close race. But sometimes that's just random and it's gonna rando, you know? And yeah, and going to Helm for that triangle hit, like, you know, did he block tower? That isn't that bad of a check. You sort of just naturally do that when you're running through a standard factory route, but Camerson absolutely made the right call. Go check where oh. triangle is there. Now, here would be something unhinded, but this is probably going to be like Ammo Belt 2 or something. Yeah, it's an, like we have the knowledge that <laughs> there's no way he can find anything that saves him here, unfortunately, but. All right, we're going to try to get Camerson in here for an interview shortly.
All right, uh, Mobile still kind of. Oh no, he's going to caves. No, this is this is this is not going to be. This is literally the worst case scenario. Um, yeah, kind of like you said, finding that pineapple literally just opened the game for him. So now he's just going to go everywhere else except the place where he needs to go. It's like he's already done Galleon. He's not going to go back to Galleon until after full clearing all the caves here. <laughs> Like, you're not even checking the monkey port hints going to help him because, like, that could tell him to go back to caves, but, like, he already did all the other Donkey Kong checks, so, like, he yeah, would he, know he that, checked oh, the monkey port hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knows he's looking for Baboo He's gotten the seal race way of the horde hint. He knows monkey port is DK Galleon, so it really is just finding Baboon Blast. Uh, we got a comment from chat that they missed the race. Well, you know what? There is some good news. All of these races go up on our YouTube channel, DK64 Speedrunning. And you can catch all the VODs on there after they happen. So go ahead, pull up YouTube, go to DK64 Speedrunning, and follow our channel. Well, that being said, we have cameras in here. I'm going to bring them in. Morning, Camerson. GGs and congratulations. Morning. GG. Morning. Morning, morning. That was a fun one. <laughs> That's a that was very fun out. from our perspective, too. <laughs> I'll have to watch the restream back to see. Yeah, this, this is going to be interesting because, like, we have a few on to answer questions about the seed. Like, there, we got a Japes's, Japes Hillside is key. We have no idea what that means because it can't be slammed. Yeah, that's what. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It's probably gonna be the Japes uh, Diddy Top Mountain, but I don't have peanuts, so. Um, I don't think so, my uh, Castle Metals uh, hint was for Key Eight was resolved either. Yep. Um, right. But so that but, being said, first of all, before we kind of get into that, I'm sure you're more than willing to go around after credits are done. But how'd you feel yeah. about to see you got first place? So obviously, you must be feeling pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a fun. One. Like I had to figure everything out. Um. Like, especially that key five placement, that was kind of rough, but uh, as soon as I found um, Blast from the Galleon Tiny Metal, I was like, this is saxophone locked because um, you need a saxophone to get Coconut, and I don't think there's any other way to get um, Blast without saxophone. Well, I think that was the, you... and Mini too. Um, Mini, yeah, Mini was on the path too. Yeah. Did you know, though, that there is another way of getting the Castle Chunky Metal without Baboon Blast? Um, no. Because Pineapple is sitting on the Lanky Gold Tower. Oh, okay. So <laughs> what so... some of our other racers have done is went and got Pineapple, missed Baboon Blast. <laughs> so they got Key 5, but they have no way of getting Monkey Port on the Galaxy. Yeah, so oh, the problem no. is Obeo got it, who's also on the restream. Now he's going to full clear the entire rest of the game before going oh, back to no. Galaxy and getting the DK, or the time. Oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> um, so why don't oh, you go goodness. ahead? Can you just go back in and get the pineapple and let's see if we can figure out what the rest of these hints were for? I guess the problem is we still don't know where Peanut is. Um, yeah, I don't think it can be um, on the Castle Metal because, um, on, yeah, on Diddy's Metal because you need either a Rock Barrel or Peanut to get it. And um, actually, I don't, I don't know where Spring is. I never found Spring either. So I f we feel like Spring has to be either on the Metal or Japes Hillside. But the thing is, I'm guessing hmm, this this kind of sucks because like, what if what <laughs> if the the Peanuts. Or hold on, the wait. Do, it, do, do with what we have, can we get Diddy's medal in Castle? Yes, we have Rocket Barrel. So I feel like we, it's going to be Peanuts on this, and then it's going to be Simeon Spring is on Jape's hillside. Yeah. Um. Wait. wait, wait where was the Rocket no, Barrel again? No, oh. because because um, you needed Spring to get Triangle. Triangle got you Rocket Barrel, and without either Peanut or Rocket Barrel, you can't get Diddy's medal. Yeah, okay, gotcha. That's, that's the so problem. I feel like spring's gonna be somewhere else, but I don't know what's on Jape's Hills. Maybe I don't know. It's tough to say. Uh, is there another move that I, I can use to get Diddy's medal other than Peanut and Rocket Barrel? Well, why don't you just get it anyway to just so, let's yeah. uh, close that hint out? <laughs> <laughs> then um, we'll see. 
Yeah, no, every iteration of Castle Duty Metal needs Peanut or Rocket Barrel. Yeah, so I don't think this is going to be Peanuts. I don't know what it could be, though. It might be... Maybe it's a slam that gets you Spring. But I don't know what the Jape Hillside hints is for either, then. Well, all we well, found there was a slam. slam. Yeah. It's, it's the slam likely is in an either or situation this seat, so it's not going to be explicitly hinted. Yeah. All right, well, let me check. But if, if, if by at least getting this, we'll know which path we can look to. So there's going to be a five bunch that I can get while rocket barreling, and then the rest I'll get underground. Yeah, there's there's actually two bunches. There's one by Cranky's rocket barreling yeah, and no. one at the very top. Everyone forgets about the Cranky one. I, it, it, have, I, mean, I, I think I've forgotten about the Cranky one for the longest time, too. Like, I just one's, recently, like, I think that's actually one memory. of the most, like, forgettable ones. It is, yeah, because, like, you hardly ever need it. Unless you've run glitchless and you know the drop from the top of castle down into the bunch, <laughs> and then you go into cranky to do jetpack. <laughs> no Tudos did that glitch. route, right? <laughs> yep, the one where you fall down and grab that metal. Is that even yep. in the route anymore? <laughs> I, I haven't looked at the route since 2020. Well, there is so. a new route, and I think um, Doc, Mr. T Kettle's been running that route. So yeah, it I mean, it's a different story different. when you need uh, when you need 75 bananas. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maybe we should have 75 bananas for the medal in season three. Hmm. I'll talk, I'll talk with the committee about that one. <laughs> Committee's me, by the way. <laughs> there, everyone's saying no. <laughs> Dude, a, a year ago, before the season two settings were ever like established, I was out here running with banana medals requiring 20. So, okay, so oh it is gosh. spring. There it is! It's spring! <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying peanuts. To... Oh, were uh, you need peanuts to get pineapple. That's that's what's gonna be in Jake's side, cause um. So mm. you need peanuts somewhere, probably unhinted, um, to get uh, pineapple on Jake's uh, top of. No, but uh, pineapple is lanky gold tower. Yeah. Oh right. Uh, yeah, that that's what other people. Yeah. What? Uh, uh b -b -b I don't know. Then I can't think of anything else that I got out of logic. Maybe it is referring to that. I don't know. Can you do it? You did you get the bean? Yeah, you did get the bean. I did get the go, bean. Go to forest and do the beanstalk area. What? Okay. Wait. <laughs> I, hang on. I need to go to. Uh, need to go get pineapple first. All right. Wait, no, because that's pineapple locked. Anyways, never mind. That won't be on the path, will it? No, it could. It could. I'm cooking too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Beanstalk's gonna have anything, if that's what you're wondering. No, 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 I'm... It's okay, you don't... You still need a pile, <laughs> but I, I think that's too much of a cook. Um, I'm surprised I never went into Treasure Room. I think I was thinking about it at some point, but then I just forgot about it when I was leaving Galleon, and I just never went in. Yeah, so the problem here is I think people did go into Treasure Room. I think most I mean, players I, um... are gonna be going to Treasure Room and then getting that lanky... Barrel. Yeah, I um, I think I just had too much on my mind because that is when I found Blast um, on my first trip into Galleon. And then I went and did the seal race. And I think uh, after doing the seal race, I probably could have done Treasure Room, but I just forgot. I want to do other things. <laughs> I've, I've I mean, done it, it, it worked out in the end. Like It, it did work out in the end. <laughs> you did not need pineapple yeah, at all. You, you, you had everything you needed. Yeah, there was Strong Kong was there, but that's not really relevant, so we didn't really say anything. Yeah. It's also worth noting that you've been done for 11 minutes and no one else has finished. Oh my goodness. No yeah, this, this is a rough seed, I will say. I was fortunate to get key five the way I did. <laughs> All right, let's see. Etiquette is clearing Helm right now. Eric, dude, I know, I've, I've, I'm, I'm clicking on every single... No one has peanuts. I'm clicking on every single one. So I feel like peanuts are got to be like... Oh. I would say caves, but Obio's clearing caves oh, for no, us. Oh no, someone's doing oh. toy monster. 
Oh gosh. <laughs> Okay, Mumble's probably gonna get second here. It'll be a fun sprint. Okay, I got pineapple. So I'm eating, by the way, uh, just in case you hear crunching. I uh, got I... real. <laughs> should we? Be I got really hungry late... near the end. Maybe of the we place. should be checking the late levels for peanuts then, because this seems like it's like I feel like if it was early, someone would have found it. Or, or just something oh. locked by late moves, like yeah, you know, that's, funky that's face that's... puzzle or. <laughs> Yeah, I would say prioritize those checks. All right, so we're looking for peanut now. Well, first I want to check beanstalk. And you know, I'll do beanstalk too, just no matter what it has. <laughs> oh man, this is brutal. I'm going to like all these streams. There's so many people have uh, pineapple. Apple recipe has a potion. <gasps> this could, uh, I think it, that legit could be it. Uh, I don't think it's. Well, I don't know if it's peanuts. I don't think it can be because. Um, right. Yeah. No. You're right. Chunky was only path to Chunky K roll, so I'll still get this, but I don't think it's gonna be any. Oh, right. One more tomato. I hope I don't run out of coconuts. I think you can make it with four. As long as you don't get hit by these idiots in the hallway. Morning, idiots. Because you can make it with three if it's just a little bit tight. Oh, it's Bongo Blast. Okay, oh, right, so it was... Uh, oh, I yeah, I that, read that the, was... Um, <laughs> you read that. I did read the Bongo Blast. I, I completely spaced it, though. <laughs> All right, let's see what Beanstalk has. What does great and mighty boost do? Alright, it's just a glum banana. Actually, I think at this point the red slam theory is good because that would explain why the slam isn't path to chunky if there's two slams available, but you need both slams to get peanuts, then that would Will it not hint um slams as path to chunky phase if you need both of them? No, if it's either or, then it just doesn't hint. Mm. Okay. I need a yeah. I need to go get a refill. <laughs> Where is oh? I'm doing my clicking on people's streams, and no one has a second slam. <laughs> I mean, you I can always just do stuck. like piano game skip for us and see. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know that one. Even though, like, I think that's, um, yeah, that's one I never learned when doing my All right, Connor, puns. load up the seed. <laughs> I'm in casual mode now. I'm just, like, <laughs> I'm getting mixed up on my areas. All right, I'm going to go get the beanstalk. GB. In the meantime, Mumbo Token finished roughly 15 minutes later behind cameras and Simon with a 156.26. Bill, GG, second Mumbo. place. Oh, Obio's checking the beanstalk area too. <laughs> Promise he's not gonna get the beanstalk GP. <laughs> yeah, so maybe maybe take back what I said about this being a nice season two send-off seed, like no one else is really finishing. <laughs> Alright, beanstalk. I feel like we should we should come up with a name for the beanstalk. Like what? I don't know, uh, Herbert. <laughs> no, back back in the day in DK6 for any percent speedruns, we named the what was it? The uh those robots in the factory um, front area. Named them Rodrigo and Rodriguez. <laughs> Not entirely sure why, but because they always get in the way for any percent speedruns. <laughs> Also, yeah, I did take a, I did take, end up taking a bathroom break in the middle of, of, of the run. Oh, we, we did point that out, and we had a feeling. <laughs> yeah. Right. I unfortunately couldn't hold it. Obio has Bongo Blast. I mean, that just shows that, like, you would have gotten, like, a 139. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have gotten <laughs> sub, sub 100. Even more. 
All right, I'm gonna get the forest donkey medal since that was so cursed on uh, <laughs> on the last uh, weekly. I think there's faster ways of getting it though. Hang on. This is the send off season two deserves. <laughs> well, at least at least we restream the person True. who finished before everyone else by like a hey. mile. I got really lucky. Holy cow! And yeah, going back to like our perspective, it was a very very close race up until like making the choice of whether or not to go to Galleon or Japes as your third level and like you guys were doing bosses at the same time yeah uh, like if, if you watch the restream back you were like neck for neck and neck for like the first 30 minutes but then I think Obeo went to what he did he, he did, did Galleon not. without Diddy yeah because I think he realized that because, like, that put him quite ahead for a bit because he realized, like, Diddy doesn't... Like, with the Diddy moves you have, you couldn't really do much in there with Diddy anyway. So, I'm presuming he just opted to do Galleon without Diddy, and that got him some mm. really nice quick checks right away. And that also made it so he could bring Coconut Gun into Japes on his first serve, and that made his Japes really nice. Nice. Yeah, I uh, I think my, my mindset was just, like... uh having an extra conk to buy stuff in shops was probably my mindset for that because I feel like you always want to go for like the Kong but that's just me personally so yeah ultimately it's like trivial <laughs> in the grand scheme of things where finding the boom blast was the key uh, to you, you don't need to do the barn Obio did that okay I feel like uh I feel like Knowing what levels to go to next is kind of a big deal, just because like you're, uh, especially in the early game, you're oh, full during the levels. So. Did you Diddy's attic? We didn't see that yet. If you didn't, um, oh uh, no, I did not. Oh, uh, that's that right spring locked now. though. It can't be that. Oh no, okay, never mind then. What about Spider Boss? <laughs> uh. I did not do Spider Boss, so I'm I'm, I'm like thinking about a whole bunch of different things at once. Um, oh, I, mean, I, I guess could check can't go in there now, anyway. I need to uh, change um, the day. Obio just checked Rabbit Race. It's not going to be that. Okay. Do we have a uh, Forest DK Metal? I don't think so. Etiquette is done with a 159, so we have three sub two finishes. Nice. Be amazing if sniper was hard required here. If that never got hinted, I'm trying to think. Uh... Okay, yeah, can't be uh, spring locked. All right, spider boss check. Hey, not lanky tower. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't get Diddy's medal in Forest either, but that's an easy one to get. I just need to like jump on a mushroom. Okay, so a sprint was in caves. Uh, where was those stand? Uh, I think Obio got it when cave. we were watching. Oh, it was, oh, it, was caves th it was some caves thing. Cave, it was like a rank stand and a rank stand sprint were like back to back in Lanky 5 to Igloo. One was the metal oh. and one was on the Igloo. Ooh, nice. Alright, so Pineapple was... Right, it was, um... So it could be Pineapple locked. I feel like it's gonna be back of Aztec. Where Peanut is. I didn't really look too tough there. I just uh, I just checked the shops and that was it for Aztec. In case there was anything hiding there. Um, what was I going to do? Okay. Alright, Obeo is going to be getting... I can't remember what this check was anymore. Um, oh, this is Gorilla Gone. So Obeo is finally going to get that. Or maybe not, because the stream is starting to buffer. Oh, nope, there you go. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I noticed that my internet was starting to, like, uh, do a little funny. It didn't do it today, really. I didn't really see any. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm glad so. it didn't. <laughs> I usually have uh, bad luck when it comes to restream uh, and internets, but luckily today I held out. Speaking of which, I need to stop my recording. There we go. I made sure to turn audio uh, only aud uh, application capture on for my stream, so. I like how we were talking about it exactly, and now the, I'm, my, the restream is starting to drop frames. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Well, we just jinxed it for that, but I think we're okay now. Um, I'm local Amazing. recording, so that's whatever. Amazing. All right, uh, Diddy Metal, I'll just get that real quick. Leo gets his Gorilla gone. Nice. Yeah, I made sure to pay a little bit more attention to my pass this time, and that's what uh, made me realize that Gorilla Gone was going to be underground. Uh, lanky dungeon because it was balloon and trombone locked yeah we were also thinking that uh castle lanky dungeon would be a good place to check in you <laughs> went and did exactly what we were thinking all right i'm gonna mute for a little bit while i eat a little bit more of my crackers all right, we'll probably restream a little bit longer here, but if it goes so long, we never find peanuts, and I mean, it is what it is. Zerulda is finished in fourth place. They have not found peanuts either. Got quite a few people starting to forfeit now. I'm gonna check through the uh, streams again. Peanuts, no peanuts. And no one has Red Slam either, from what you're seeing? Um, as far as I can tell, no. Yeah, that's... <laughs> it's probably just on, like, a DK number game or something. Just something really dumb. <laughs> I know a couple regions in Factory were foolish, right? Yeah. Alright, well, this might be a good place to call the stream here. Oh, there we go! Obio's got the Boom Blast! Never okay! <laughs> All right, well, Obio's gonna be finishing shortly here, um, cause this will get him Monkey Port. Well, he doesn't have Rocket Barrel, but, um, where was Rocket Barrel again? Rocket Barrel was the Aztec Chunky Claptrap Room. Oh, Aztec Chunky Claptrap Room. He still doesn't have Triangle. Hmm. Well, maybe he's not. Well, I mean, he can just go to Helm for that. Yeah, that's what I did. All right. Well, I will continue searching for um, the remaining moves, especially Peanut, uh, but also the second slam. And I will update the Discord when I find it. Well, I know I'm dropping frames here, but I'm local recording, so we will just um, keep the stream up until Obi finishes here. If we find Peanuts, whether we find it or not, that's okay. Watch it be on another boss. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Oh, at another boss, actually, yeah.
Well, hang on, wait a second. Um, if we're looking for peanuts, and that's like... Is that required? I don't think it they're, is. They're like, in logic. They're, they have to be required for the Castle Diddy Metal. If... Because if spring is oh, yeah, there, and spring is to rock and girl, yeah, that's what we're... Well, I don't think it's going to be Jape's Hillside, then, because you need Peanuts to get the last Hillside Right, check. right. We're, we're thinking that Peanuts are locked by Red Slam. Oh. And that that was one of the slams, and that the other slam is out there, and you put them together to get Peanuts and Factory. Oh, I see. Which is why the either-or with the slams makes them not... Hillside it isn't Path to Chunky Phase. Because so there weird. was another slam available, uh, probably oh, not locked by too many moves. See. It could just be like a, a metal or a boss. I get it now. All right, Obio does have the bottle of grog from the um, seal race. He's got monkey port now. Nice. He's going to be able to go check helm where triangle is, so he should have a nice path to finish him. Oh, almost got caught by the cop. Oh, Etiquette has found Super Duper Simeon Slam. Oh boy. You know Do we want to know where it is? Where is it? <laughs> oh boy, yeah, where is it? <laughs> it is a Battle Crown in Factory. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. The Gorilla <laughs> Grab. Holy cow. I mean, I guess I'll look for, after I get that, I'll look for um, peanuts on Super Duper Slam checks. Yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, I never even went to R&D. <laughs> I think Factor is probably going to be one of the last places I went to just because it was super duper slam locked. Man, fortunately, like, you can just skip Simeon Spring <laughs> logically, and all of yeah. this doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, oh, this would be an even longer seed. But yeah, this is just a lot of unhinted stuff at the end. Yeah. Well, and at the beginning. Alright, but where would it be then in fact? You're probably just on some stupid check. Uh, I'm gonna check uh, Lanky Piano Game first. That's the oh. first thing I'm checking. It has been found by etiquette. <laughs> that, that makes sense. <laughs> Was it the piano game? It's Tiny Dartboard. So there oh. are three required logically moves in the testing area. All mm. Unhinted, right? Other All than unhinted, know, yeah. pretty I mean, much, you, yeah. Yeah, you can go to Helm and get the triangle hint, but <laughs> <laughs> they're all unhinted. That's a mean triangle if you're following logic. Etiquette has found Super Duper Simeon Slam. Oh boy! You know where? Do we want to know where it is? That means the last move uh, to be found, or that I haven't found it yet, is uh, oranges. I, I don't think I don't think we need to find that one. We can leave that one. In the <laughs> trash. We can leave that one in the trash. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna search for that one, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. Hey, Obio is about to get rocket barrel here.
All right, but you know what? I'm gonna go into the I'm gonna go into the piano game anyways to play the F key for season two's retirement. I like it. <laughs> All right, Twitch chat. Press F for season two point five. Well, hang on. Let me see if uh, if an F key even shows up on the regular pattern. The stream is so delayed for me. <laughs> because yeah. of the buffering. Oh, we, you we you said that, but I think they're like way behind us. Uh, yeah. I hit the wrong key. Gosh dang it. All right. Yeah, stream is pretty behind, but I'm sure that will be fixed eventually, or it'll catch back up. All right, I have pressed the F key. F. 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 <laughs> F key, F key, F key. F key, F key, F key. All right, well, um, the stream is not going live anymore. We have solved the seed, so we'll just call it here. Um, All right. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Um, obviously this is not going to be seen on Twitch, but it will be seen on YouTube, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to, um, keep in touch with all the races. Season 2 might be done, so plenty, plenty of racing to be done here as we move on to Season 3, and we have the Kevin Blitz final coming up as well, so, um, thanks for watching all, see you later. Morning. Morning. Morning.